Philosophy is the science which considers truth. So said Aristotle, one of the great forefathers of Western philosophy. In this attempt to seek out the truths and principles of human existence, philosophy must answer questions of beauty, of justice, of language, indeed, of the mind itself. Especially of all academic subjects, the, the mother of science, um, asking the big questions, why are we here, how do we live? But it's been sort of mugged and kidnapped by those people who put rubbish under the umbrella of philosophy, right. cod philosophy. I went to a library once, I looked in the philosophy section, and there was a word Doris Stokes. Doris Stokes being the first of a, 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 a medium who said she was talking to the dead as crystals, feng shui. Oh, God. The interesting thing about Feng Shui is how, uh, I remember someone came to my office, I was working in once, and she said, you're going to need crystal here above the laboratory to get all the ladies and she out of the system. They said, this crystal here is 25 pounds. And I will not go spend that. And she went, okay, but what if I find it? But it was surprisingly convenient that she had a number of different crystals. The panic didn't say, John. We're also going to need a brush to get the shit out of the toilet. What are you got for that? Yeah, there's a lot of that, uh, that twaddle. There was a woman I remember once, I used to do a really short service. Um, and she came in, she could tell from the coloured liquids that you showed, which were a big selection of coloured liquids. She could tell a lot about her personality from that. So I picked her up for like three or four. And she looks at me like she doesn't do well, just arbitrary. And she looks at me and she says, Okay, I get the sense that you like to communicate with people, but on a global level. In your work for the world service, as, as we spoke, we were broadcasting on the world service. So I don't know why you're actually just ready for the liquids. Um, as a novice, one of the key catchphrases in my philosophy, one that's always intrigued and confused me a little, is the famous René Descartes quote, I think, therefore I am, or think of that, I think it's a new way of the philosophy. First thing we ever did, I think, at degree level, and it's the one thing I'd already heard of. It, it's one of those things that, that sort of uh, uh, filters down um, cognito ergo sum. That's just saying, I think, therefore I am, when um, Descartes was pondering his existence. Um, just before we get to his conclusion, how do you know this isn't a dream? Just because I'm in sleep? Oh, well, <laughs> no, okay, no. But you can still be dreaming, couldn't you? Because this could be a dream that you haven't been sleeping lately. You could be dreaming the last few nights you haven't been sleeping. Dreams, they, they differ like, I mean, I, like I said, I don't have that many of them because I don't sleep that well. But when I do have one, there's something different and vivid about it. Now, if I was dreaming all this, I reckon my body would have been fixed ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone that has a dream that goes on for that amount of time. Well, it could be a nightmare, but the presumption of it, I think you're also presuming that that the dream that you could be dreaming needs to be exactly the same as the dreams you think of when you're dreaming. What I like point is, there's no way of you knowing that this life you're living now as you talk to us is real, that it's not actually the imagined dreams of another car or somewhere else. There are actually no clues, Carl. There are actually no clues now that this is the real thing. Well, sometimes, most of the time, it's... One minute I'm awake, next minute I'm asleep, then I'm not awake again. Yeah. Sleep's just... You know the bit between you being awake and awake again? That, that's called a sleep. Yeah. Now, do you ever think things while you're asleep? Do 
it's very it's that bit between the awake and yeah, awake or I'm talking about talking about what ages ago where I got where you burst in and I was on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, they were a bit true. Yeah, yeah, the one thing it was all it was like everyone was German and it was at some gig or something and you opened the door and everyone was looking and laughing at me and I was on the toilet and you sort of said oh that's probably because you were comfortable with I've been put on the line. Yeah, that they even do you might be out of the air, possibly, yeah. Oh, that's one dream. So yeah, that's one dream. But did you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, there is a likelihood that you think, I bet he's been a first dude. I don't know if he's on air to you about when he was at all over here. Yeah, yeah. I kind of think he's in busy at the moment. <laughs> you have to wait till he's on the phone to go through this. I have to sit there on the lock. Yeah. It's always it's a dog, but it's not dog. <laughs> <laughs> but that's an example of a dream. But I think what you're failing to grasp is not so much the mechanics of whether this is a dream, but that you cannot know the truth of what you're experiencing. You cannot know that this is reality. The question about reality so is what, what reality is and what, what we like about reality. What we know is that if you could go into a flotation tank and you led a whole virtual life and it was the best life possible. You did exactly what you always wanted. You became the person you wanted to be. You did the best things you could ever dream of doing and you literally couldn't tell the difference. So it was your life, okay? And you lived your biological life out in that tank and died it. And had the best life any person could ever have. You could pre program it. Would you get into that tank knowing what you know now, knowing that you would have the best life ever with no heartache, no upset, no no loved ones dying? So, what was happening when, when I was sort of having a packet of lunches? Yeah. Am I having them or are they imagining? They're imaginary, but you can't tell the difference. It's the best packet of magic you ever had. I love the fact that you went into the flotation tank, where, uh, and your one advisor was, our munches is a good deal. No, 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 I've just taken it back to basics. That is the right. You've got to clean for a lovely life. That's where you start, isn't it? Munches must always taste magnificent. Well, it's just, if you can still enjoy the basic things in life, then that's yeah, when you do it wrong. You do. You enjoy the what You are the... You're the... It's the life you ever want to live. And you're living this yeah. way. So it's... Why? 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 Just, uh... I don't know, because sometimes I think things don't happen for the best. Sometimes you can sort of think, oh, I'll enjoy that if that happens. And then it doesn't happen, and you've had time to think about it. Oh, but this is perfect. No, this is building. Because whatever happens is for the best. So not only when you're in this rotation tank are you enjoying yourself, the things just keep getting better or staying. So you, never, you never have a bad day. You never have a bad day. But how long did that last for before you got fed up with this? Well, why would you get fed up with it? Because you do something else. It's the perfect life. Never mind, you don't, you're not aware that you're in the flotation tank. You've made that deal, but then once you're in there, you don't, you're not aware of being in the flotation tank. You're living your life and it's perfect. You're happy. What? We don't know how you be happy. You just have the most of your day. Well, we need to get in it, Get in it. If you don't know you've got in this tank, if I somehow go up there that night, someone injects me in the head, and then they go, right, stick it in the tank now. And then I wake up, packet lunch is there, sun's out, uh, sees how it goes, oh, it's a nice day, we'll be able to do something nice. But I want to be at work. She goes, no, I don't have to go into it. Right, I don't have to go Now, what's interesting there is that uh, within this scenario, I gave you any any life, you can do anything, 
and you chose the exact life you've got now, except Suzanne's got a day off. Now, I both love that. Well, I think it's suspicious. Oh, but she just took the day off. No way, it's not happening now. It's not happening really happening. You can do anything you like. But I love the fact now you're in question and you're not in the tank. And why is she having got a day off, right? Now, I love that because that suggests to me that you're a, a nice, happy, satisfied, whatever you want to do, contented person who's got the perfect life. However, it's almost like you haven't fully understood the possibilities. For example, you wake up, there's the lunch, it's sunny day, Suzanne's not at work, you go, why are you at work? Oh, she goes to you, I don't know, why are you flying? And you go, I just can't. But you haven't even thought that maybe you could fly or swim or hold your breath, you just can't ask for lunch for breakfast. Oh, this is day one. Oh, uh, can you go on holiday? Yeah. Like I said before, you don't, you don't turn off your right. It's one o'clock, jet ski for half an hour, uh, bungee jumping before we get off the bar. Yeah. So a nice roll of tea yeah. and, uh, you know, try a little cocktail. And what do you do? What do you do when you arrive then? You get yeah. Uh, the fellow takes your case to the room. You have that panic of, I'm going to be able to, I don't know the currency well enough yet, I don't know how much more information we ask for. Yeah. Yeah. The most mundane. Was scenario I've ever heard. No, well, this is what happens in real life. Yeah. Right, okay. So you go about scenario, you go, right, where's my shorts? You get them on. You go out and have a wander. You have a wander around <laughs> to know where it is. The shop. The shop. Uh, you know, how close the beach is. Yeah. Isn't busy. Yeah. Okay, you're just telling us what happens when you go on holiday. What's the point? Okay. Because you don't, you don't want to perform all the one go, you want to go into it, because that's sometimes part of it. Right. Yeah. Okay. So anticipation. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that, that little bit. Yeah. Uh, it's about things taking time, isn't it? And looking back at the journey and going, how did I get here? Okay, why? Well, can I ask a question? Sorry, well, I'm just, I'm quite fascinated to know this. If you decided to sign up to the Idea. Okay, you can design your perfect life. But I prefer not to. I won't do it. No, you, you don't, don't know. know. But I want to ask this question. Imagine with Ricky and I are the doctors, okay? We can put you in this tank. You all need to know from me now is what your perfect life is. I'm going to prove it in the computer. You're going to wake up tomorrow. You won't let this conversation to happen. You have the perfect life. What, if you, if you don't mind, we'll take notes there. What is the perfect life? You're still the sleeve. Living with Suzanne. We've got that what else? We've got that and we've got sunshine. But what else would you like in your magical life of the ultimate life? I think I prefer hair. No, because that has no it's not real. No, no, you no, 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 it's okay with that. Suzanne comes in one day and goes, why are you working? She goes, oh, okay, I've left my job. Can we leave the while I'm at work? I'm always gonna be here. Right? I've got a new tonic. Right, from Boots, she pops on your air. Boop, wait, you go with that. Yeah, I don't, I don't quite like this idea of sort of series of albums never at work. So I just think you need, you need a bit of a darkness to have the films. Right, right. I try in a minute, you're going to be jerked in the head, you're going to go to sleep, you're going to be in a program show, but you are going to suddenly leave this office and it's going to be a virtual world. You can do what you want. You can suddenly go, what was I hanging around with that bloke for? I'm a, I'm a spy. And you go to my five, five and they go, oh, thanks for coming, Bilton. Um, listen, uh, uh, Drosky, um, he's, he's coming from Russia and um, he's got a bang. What do you do? What's your scenario? What do you do as a job? We've got munches, Suzanne's never I prefer to leave everything as it is. Brilliant. Go with right. it. Go with it. But have everything the same so that I'm going, I'm going with it as it actually happened. What are you talking about? Well, you don't know about this. You don't know anything that's happened. No, because you've just said you're gonna you're gonna put me in the tank and you you asking questions as to why no. I'm gonna get in it. No, yeah, no, you won't know you're in the tank. What you in the tank? Well, you won't know. You'll have a new life, a life that you've decided. Yes. You'll have different memories if you want it. 
You could be five again, or you could be now, but you did one more than Manchester. I prefer it to be the same, with the same memories, but the difference is when our next girl will come to the top. Yes, the top. Oh, God! The <laughs> so it's like to have two lives to his boy in space! No, 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 you can be the perfect temple. Do you want to be the time anymore? I don't, I don't like the idea of too much change. I don't want that much of a change. But you anymore. won't realise it. it won't feel like change. Well, it's changed already. You're saying the ball has been fixed like that. <laughs> I prefer to, to stay at that point and go, oh, okay. mm -hmm. is this different? Uh, so that is still not going to work. Right? <laughs> That's where I'm going to take that. Things happen, God, what have happened in this world? So, so I'm like, hey, let's go there, let's see the differences. What do you do? Because I want to program this. So you, you've got the same job, all that. Are we still around? Uh, yeah, because it's part I'm, of... I'm going to ask you a question now. Do I still squeeze your head every time I see you press you to the ground and wind you up and try and stretch you out, pull you all hours? Uh, do I still do that? What am I like? You, you, you're still the same, and you still do that, but maybe one day I go, I don't do that anymore, because it doesn't bother me. And you go, okay. And then, so I dealt with it, I sorted that problem, as opposed to this machine, this tank inside you. Right. I don't mind the idea of this tank. Right. Making life good for me. Right. I have a few problems, this is a problem I want to sort it. Okay. But, we hit the nail on the head there, we're going to go back to this, it's fascinating. But Nose have concluded that no one will get into the tank because we'd rather have a real life with all these problems than a fake life. And I sort of think you've proved that by even getting into the tank with your provisos and scenarios. I mean, you've changed nothing except your boiler being fixed and me stop squeezing your head out of the head, which makes me think that you should have your boiler fixed. Mm -hmm. And then you will have the perfect life that you can imagine. Yeah, but it's that old shit, it's not going to be some thing of like, uh, what's the problem then? You've got right. a problem with you in your head. You've got to fill with the problem. Yeah, you're not, he's not a geneticist. <laughs> got the problem hole in your head. No, he's got a problem hole in your head. Shut up, Ricky, let him say what he needs to say. He's got a problem hole in his head. He's got a problem hole in his head. He's called his mouth. Yes. Right, that is your problem hole. So, if someone comes up and they go, I fixed your body. Sorry, because I said, what? No, let him speak. Yeah. For what? Ask one question, Steve. Is the problem hole different from the problem G, or is that a new term for? No, you put things through the problem hole and they end up in the problem G. You feed something into the problem hole. Is okay. that right, Carl? It goes through the problem G and into the problem G. Okay, so it's done problem can't do it. Okay, go on, right. So it's better to have, you've got a problem hole in your head, right? So you stuff in the problem into the problem hole. Okay, yeah, okay. Now all the little problems can't get in because of the big problem. Is that good or bad? So but that's not true. The problem's hole is a standard size on everyone. Right, right. Then that's Shut right. up, Ricky! Let me explain. No, Ricky, I'd say his problems are not even problems. Well, they're big, small ones. Same size as mine. Same size as yours. But his problems are all little ones. They're like, you've got like a lot of skittles. I've got a big cream egg. Shut up! Let him speak! He's just expanding on his idea. Why is he trying to What is your problem? It's so funny compared to my little skills. What is your problem? You get stressed out about things that are like, what's up with you? You get annoyed easily with stuff. People chewing loudly, or someone breathing loudly, or someone coughing. Whereas I don't want to know that doesn't matter. Like you say, to you, the boiler is like getting ripped out from a new one. It's not as easy as that. <laughs> it is. And that's why the problem, but it's growing. <laughs> it's important. He's got his gene of ball in a hole, so the present ball. No wonder there's no fucking room for a brain. Right, shut up. Let me have a word of this. The problem ball exists in life.
Um, but they look at the outfits first and they go, right, they've got their own spot. They carry in big stuff. They try to save time by carrying stuff that's way too big for them, really. They could do that with between three of them. They don't. They're all crafted hard. Then they go, right, hit the human button. They hit the human button, they watch the humans. The amount of people who just sat about the in there, the oh, only yeah. like Amy Winehouse, Lily Allen in London up to there. So what? <laughs> what are you doing? I grew you, but what are you doing? You see, the other analogy, joking aside, I think that you hit on the fact that life is about working for what you get. And I'm right behind that. I am right behind that. I think that's a, I, 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 I think that's absolutely true. What's dangerous is that's all you get from that. At the end of the day, right? Yeah, but that's that's evil. Yeah. What? You know, I, I don't. I, I mean, you, you sometimes make out to have an evil mind. We have no problem. Mm. We don't. Too dumb, so we've got to get rid of this. I said, well, it's better out there than the other way inside. And she said, yeah, but this game's a lot. She went and popped the camera. I said, I can't remember this. I don't want to end. Right? Well, he didn't want to see the advert. That's sweet, you know, they're dead. Yeah, it might be causing a problem, but I don't want to see this, this mess. Now, the thing is, she went out, she poured a bit of water on it. I left it a few minutes. I went out and had a cup of tea and thought, it's worse than what she put it on. So I took a cup of tea out there and I'm sat there and then I just saw sort of one come back from where I really did. Wow. Um, he looked devastated. <laughs> because that man had been away. As far as I was concerned, it had been out to get a leaf away. Came back, devastation. <laughs> and it's, it's that, what, that that's, that's the thing, you need some of death for me, you know? The, the outside of death, they didn't know anything. Suddenly they were there, next to them, they of water, dead. It's the people who are still living in life that are the saddest aren't it? Yeah. They? And that summed it up. What do you think? Do you think would have been better off being there when it happened? How could you tell me that? What do you think? So you saw it again. I mean, we run around in circles anyway, don't we? But this was just kind of going, what's going on? And what did, did it slow down when it got near the nest? Did it drop the leaf and then you see it run the last few inches? It, it just kind of got close and it was like a double take almost. <laughs> Things that you can look at as a yeah. appreciate it and understand it yeah. and go, yeah, that's true, that is what I thought. Instead of, oh man, I don't think this is what I thought. But you might as well be asleep because you're doing nothing else. <laughs> oh, thank God, Winehouse Allen. I don't normally enjoy the thing when I'm doing it, it's after. It's like that holiday. What do you mean you don't enjoy the thing when you're doing it? It's after. What's an example of not enjoying the thing at the moment, but you do after? You didn't enjoy the holiday. Say you like the holiday. You see, you enjoy the holiday. I want to hear it. You enjoy the holiday. You didn't do it. When I'm there, I have fleas bugging me. I have mosquitoes bugging me. Uh, there was a funny smell of damp in the bathroom. I was worried about getting in the sea thinking it's in stone fishing. <laughs> right? Now you've got all that going on. Yeah. When you get back, you forget about the dance stuff. You forget about the fleas because the bites have gone. Not as much of a problem. So then your brain starts to go, oh, no, what did you enjoy? And you go, I enjoyed the delight of the fish I had for that one week. That's the experience. At the time, I wasn't enjoying it because I'm thinking, when I get back, you're going to have fleas on me again. So you remember all the good stuff. It's like an old person when they die, and they go, I didn't flash backs. They don't say, I remember the time the shoes were too tight. What do you say? say? They're having nice, they go, oh, I love the times of that. I was wearing flip flops. 
So you don't enjoy anything you enjoy while you're doing it. But at the moment in time, I don't understand that. That's, that. I mean, that is the oddest thing I've ever heard. Oh, There's actually a medical term for it. Someone who's like, oh, I'm to to enjoy, to have, to receive pleasure, to take pleasure. It's really weird, that. That is really weird. No, because you're busy doing the thing. So well, you're saying something to enjoy. So you can't, can't enjoy something you're busy doing because you're busy doing it. You can't possibly enjoy it. Or you don't know if you're not going to enjoy it because it hasn't finished yet. Well, Carl, but listen, I know for the first time. Well, it's an odd job. I'd love to have it. I bet you get a brilliant feeling this right. for me. Yeah. But I will be enjoying it because I'll be going, is the thing going to start? Right, okay, well, there's, there's, there, there, that is, there is something like that. In extreme sports, there is a reason uh, why you're doing it. It is the after effect to enjoy because it's the fear and then the, 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 the endorphin that rush to you and you go, I can't like, survive, isn't it brilliant? That's the feeling of euphoria. So that's, no, but you're having a nice thing. Right. Okay. Uh, when I get a menu given to me in the restaurant, yeah. I go, right, I'm on the menu. When I came in, I thought I had some rough chops. I got my rough chops, great. I wonder how much they give you, because I quite fancy this pudding we've got. Right. Now I have the lamb chops, it comes with an extra edge. I eat it, enjoy it. The pudding I wanted, it's gone out the window, I've got no room for it now. <laughs> yes. But you enjoyed the lamb chops. You enjoyed the lamb chops, you enjoyed... You can only so get packed so that you do... If you enjoy it all, all your life, all the time, there's no point in regretting anything, that's just greed. No, but I was looking forward to the pudding. Well, you should have eaten all the fish. Yeah, but I was enjoying it at that point. But then you take the pleasure that you had at that point. No, because I wanted the pudding. Yeah, but you, you didn't did. want the pudding, you made the pudding. No, because I wanted to have it for the sake of having it. And then it's... it's the yeah, well, so I don't know what the winch is there. You had a lovely meal, you had some lovely lamb chops, you enjoyed the hour. Because when I read that, they had a, a, a profiterole from there. Yeah. I thought I fancy a couple of them. Yeah. And, and they had a chance to come and come back to this, this restaurant. Yeah, but yeah. you missed a chance, you had the chance, you didn't want to take it because you were full of a lovely lamb. It's not that you didn't enjoy the lamb of the veg. If you'd not enjoyed that, I don't understand you from it. You had a lovely time eating the lamb of the veg. If someone so said, if, if the bloke came around and said, you can have a good Rolls. If you eat this lamb you don't like, you go, oh, if you eat the lamb, you didn't like it, but now you're full, then you could wish. You wish I hadn't been forced to eat the lamb, but the look of his rolls. That's, you know. I have a spicy sausage. <laughs> Now the weird thing there is, it is the same. I mean, I would like 
is the same, it's from the same bank, it's from the same pot. But, she was expecting too much. And that's the problem. If I have a spicy sausage again, it's not going to live up to it. So forget the spicy sausage. I've had a bit of experience there. So you better move on. Says, oh, it depends. So if you have anything twice ever. Maybe so. But this is insane. Oh, so is aside from you, you ain't normal. I presume you're the other part of the plan. Or we're always weird to one another. Why are you fucking around that school? She's having a fancy idea. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, I've heard several of them. Well, there's always a lot of you. You're going to first in as well. But I'll take a little bit of the answer. But where does it end? 
There's, there's no point having the struggle till you die and never get any happiness. Um, so, what's your balance? We don't have to go into physical terms here. What's your balance? What's your yin and yang of a, of a, of a good life? Uh, a good life, I mean, one that you've enjoyed or, or, or been satisfied with, and one that you have no regrets or guilt or shame and a bit of pride. What are you asking? Oh, yeah, I've got a bit more. Right? But you need, you need the mixture, don't you? So you need to find out what, you, what your favourite thing is. It's like about the rebels. Yeah, but well you can't, you can't cherish guilt or shame. Do you just think life is like a bag of rebels? Isn't that dangerous you close to life is like a box of chocolates and forest guns over there? Yeah. Jesus. Not really it is, isn't it? There's, there's one or two in there that I don't like. Like what? The rings. The rings. No, no, no. The chocolate. Yeah, no, no. No, what I'm saying is... Metaphorically, what, what's the... What's the yeah, well, I'm actually you name know, what rebel he doesn't like. Well, I'm telling you, because it works in life. Go on, then. Yeah. Well, the rebel is like that. Well, 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 maybe, if you have a lot of rings and ones, yeah. you eventually go, do you know what? They're not that bad. What? And that's the thing in life. Well, hold on, man. So what are you saying? Where's this metaphor? Are you saying certainly all the bad things in life are pretty good, actually? Yeah, it's just well, sometimes, sometimes that bad becomes some good. Go on. At the end of the day, the, uh, the rebel mm. thing. What well, happens to the munchies? And well, again, with life, if you have too much munchies, you get sick of the munchies. So we move on, mix it up. But what makes it up? Are the rebels? You've got to lift everything in there. Right. Even the ones you don't like, you might like in the end, you'll go, do you know what? Okay, okay. lose the, the, the analogy now. They're actually just talking about rebels now in life. What about, what about, um, oh, what about, what has he enjoyed before? What would you have written to Jim or Fixin to fix one? What would have given you pleasure as a kid? Dear kid, can you fix it for me to do what? Uh, when I watched Jim or Fixin as a kid, they never really lived up to what the kid wanted. But what would you have requested? No, I don't think I would because I think I saw how disappointed most of the kids were. God, I kids were always there. They were always there. They were always there. Yes, they could. But they look at it. They go, can you fix it for me to go into space? No. Can I dance with an armor armor? No problem. That's the ones they pick. Yeah, so that's I mean, why I wouldn't buy in because. Whatever you ask for, you're always going to get a warm down to But if Jim could fix it for you to do anything, what would you have chosen? There's not many things I wanted as a kid. One thing, thing. Just one thing to choose one thing, please. But my name was Brett. <laughs> Is that, is that a person who's over? Well, of course it is. Um, 
what about if you grow that for, for harvesting without the brain? Um, so it's only kind of all the fine organs. Yeah, you know, you know. Or, what about that, you know? Um, stem cell research. So, I mean, these it's, it's, it's weird things happening all the time with all this transplant stuff. Uh, read about a woman who, uh, you know, a way of sort of your say that it's just a bit of meat. Yeah. You'll say that. Do you know what I mean? It, 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 organs can't have rights and feelings. You know, listen to this as well. So, it's going to be bullshit. No, 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 Careful research. Uh, yeah. Let's take a wager. Yeah. Five pages come my way. Right. So, what happened is, do you know why people do uh, donor cards? It's all filled by our safe. If a donor, um, you can have them on the coup. So, uh, anyway, you know, you said get the coup now. If you got the coup now, um, someone. You need a new kidney. They were out of the moon. There's a new kidney in the moon. Uh, but this person who didn't, who needed a new kidney and a couple of things, he, he won't play for a drive. Yeah. And I couldn't stand the old experts. Right. Couldn't stand the old experts. He just didn't like him. Yeah. He did something, and he didn't know why. He just never liked him. He's having his test, done his in hospital for a couple of days. Girls are off, because... Do the yellow biscuit. What's the fucking yellow biscuit? Just a... Banana bombings. What are you talking about? Just a yellow biscuit. Who oh. decides? I, I like all biscuits except the other ones. Where is this... The, uh, uh, the supermarket? Why? 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 I don't know what the kind of the biscuit's got necessarily got to do with it. It's like a phobia. It's like a phobia. Oh, so he fears the combination of yellowness and biscuitiness. Right, so I'm blue. He doesn't mind biscuits, I don't mind yellow. Don't ever put them together, that's my worst nightmare! <laughs> so, right, I'm confused as to who's got the one who's okay. like, who's keeping. There's a blue. A blue's received a new cubic. He hated biscuits. He's not going to drive any ex custard creams. Right. But now, suddenly, after the hospital transport, they are now back to your bridge and mm, oh, no, I really yeah. fancy yellow biscuits. Yeah. Okay. Does he go out for driving? He went to driving. Right, just give him ten. And that's sort of thing. What? 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 The kidney is a filter system. But if you have something for long, it's like getting a new tea strainer and suddenly loving the little bits of driving. No, the kidney has no impact on anything. No. It's like how if you knock it out with someone, you pick up their little things that they do. So right. kept saying to me, that's a nonsense. So stop saying that. You saw me pick that up from someone. I said, you've never said that before. You've been going three times in about two days. <laughs> It's the same thing, it's the Jesus same thing. Christ. Living with car, it doesn't like the same nonsense. I don't know, right? But let's be honest, if you're gonna live with car, you're gonna use the phrase yeah. that's not you. You're starting to run out with more and more bollocks, nonsense, rubbish, shit. Round and informed, you've been down from someone, so you've used that 200 times in the last three minutes. Said like a fucking or a stupid fucking bald cunt. Where do you get that from, Susan? I've said it three times, it's just three. Oh, hey, now, did we did half <laughs> Steve, five quid. A big question, particularly in the, the area of the like, philosophy of the mind is 
What is intelligence? It's just... It's what you know. Well, that's knowledge, isn't it? Yeah, it's a, it's a form of knowledge, intelligence. No, I don't think it is. Why? Because intelligence really is everything from the ability to retain knowledge, to understand it, to apply. It's probably a little bit like the difference between how fast the computer is and how good the program on that computer is. It's no good. I'd say I've got a brain that that can it can work somehow. Um, but sometimes, if I tell it too much, it can't remember all of it. Now, if I had a brain that had loads of memory space, yeah, so as much as you want. Well, that that's important. That's I important. To, but yeah, but that some people say that's what intelligence is in memory. It's no good saying. He's, he's brilliant. He learns 10,000 facts a day. Really? Yeah, he forgets them the next day. Yeah. Well, well, that's what I'm saying. Well, yeah, but, but what good is that? Trivia is nothing to uh, it. No, it's not intelligent. It's just the chart. It's good for the chart. You know, when you're out and about, if you need a stranger, mm. it's good to drop something in, like, you know, go. Uh, what would you call it? Show you the well, just, just to make you, just make you the bus stop. You think he's not far out? Steve, Steve's at the bus stop. There he is. He's there. He's got his, he's got his little duffel coat on. His little scarf. His fire. He's, he's got his little glasses. He's got a little bit of money that wears some, some ruffians like foam money. And, he, and I've seen this, and he's, he's crying and he's shouting to us. Yeah, and he's running to the bus stop to go home to his mum. Okay, so at the bus stop, there he is. He come along, he go, oh, who's this now? And he shut himself. <laughs> I don't know, right? Ooh, I don't know, right? And he might have said, oh, I don't know, fine. <laughs> yeah, and he go, oh, okay, he's obviously in place, we'll look at him. And he's gone, and he's looked at you, and he's gone, Jesus Christ, you look thick. Prove him wrong. No, what I do. Go on. There's no point just having one fact. Right. I wait for him to start a topic and I show my intelligence by having a fact on the topic he's brought up. Okay. Because we can all have one topic. Yeah. Then you go, uh, oh, I'll show this stuff. And then, you know, some of those others have been talking to you about the being on fact again. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's always been telling everyone, but it's just a boy. Okay, so why do I just say to you, you know, what are your views on mathematics? I just say the thing with them, it's, 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 it's low. I don't know why I told you an interesting fact, once again to try and explain um, infinity to you, and I told you this, there are as many even numbers as even and odd numbers put together. Yeah. It's, I, I think I've said before that I don't think things like that are impressive because numbers are not made anyway. Right. If you were talking about, like, when you mentioned about uh, this, this more insects we don't know about than what we do, mm -hmm. then you don't know where are they? Where are they hiding? It becomes a question. The fact that there's loads of numbers is like, yeah, but at the same time, you could, you could rule numbers out of your life if you wanted to. Really? You could rule life. Do you really think that? Yeah, you could. There's, there's tribes. There's tribes in the Amazon. Yeah, they are. They're 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 they are. They count them three. They don't need any more numbers than three. And they just have three because they go, uh, one, they know what one is, they go, like, well, pass it off there. <laughs> So we've been greedy. <laughs> so you don't need it. So what if you've got five children? How many kids you've got when you're living in a place like that? Mm. It doesn't matter. Mm. It's not about like you're just part of the tribe. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Well, where is this tribe that only counts to three? It's somewhere like the Amazon or something. Really? I mean, there's no more numbers than three. 
They don't need it. Anything more than three, they just say, I have more. Or gives them both three. Or gives them only three. Well, yeah. yeah. Or another one, or another two. Well, what if they need too much of it? That's not the thing. We well, just keep your own good straight. And then. That's such a slow way of doing it. They've got nothing else to do, they're living in the arms of them. <laughs> <laughs> so far, you told me nothing about the maths whatsoever. So you concluded that he is dead. Fucking dead. When I was on all of recently, yeah. I got to talk to an old fellow. This is where I went and explained the problem. I got a challenge in it. And you could tell he was a lot of money. That sort of uh, rouge colour sort of jeans. Oh yeah, she's a very sort of tattoo or something. You can see the kind of line he's got to me. And uh, the uh, red jeans are twice as nice as that. I said, I've got one. Yeah, it's sort of, it's either that colour or the yellow. We can carry it off when you're an old man, especially with the times that we think you're in. Oh, I think I have a really bad jeans. Yeah, the jeans. Uh, we've got one pet server for now, the most expensive one. Yeah, that's right. I'm back home, man. Uh, can I just see the, the bank account first? There is. Oh, yeah. You can afford the other jeans with us. Come this way. So I've got something to it. And it turns out that he had a cruise ship. Right. Loads of money. Now, I was chatting to him for about ten minutes. What color of his jacket? So very good, I'm just just like shirt. He's wearing red jeans and a white shirt. Yeah, it's all leather, leather slip on and shoes on. And um, how old is he? It's hard to tell because he's well talented. Uh, uh, is he an He's a good looking fellow. Uh, so he's rich, so he's, 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 he's rich good looking bloke, but just a shirt on. No, he has a shirt, he's, he's pretty hard. Why did you know his what the crotch area was? Why did you know his point? You can you see the other If you look at his face, you can see a white shirt. Why did you see what color the fabric around his chest was? So you saw the good looking old man saying, Why is it out? Boy, the drink. Yeah, you see what you know. It's the part that you talk to. Right, okay. And you can't ask the right to say, you can't get it to an answer. No. Yeah, no. I was alone. I don't like my family at all. Right, okay. Jet black. Susan's the next girl down there who really took a ring. Right. I get there, I find out the barbecue's not for another 40 odd minutes. What time was he on with you there? Uh, well, you know, it starts at 8. You never see what he thought. You don't see the old man's uh, general coverings, but you don't know what fucking time it is. Yeah. What the story is, what I'm saying to you is, the right. reason I know this is pants is because what he was talking about, right. there was no reference point, so I didn't tell a clue what he was going on about. Right, what was he talking about for your eyes to wander down to his penis, is what I'm trying to say. What made you look at his penis? He got bored. <laughs> His, his reference point, I had no idea what he was talking about. about. He was talking about how he was in some Cuban war. He told me about how he met President Reagan. He told me something about how he, he caught a cow once. He was, uh, <laughs> 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 this He's in the media. He's in the He was just of blood on his trousers. Yeah. Whilst hacking up his dead wife. He's gone insane. He's jittering and chattering like a claiming on a cruise ship. He thinks only spent 36 grand on furniture. And when I sort of looked at him like, no view of money. And he's going, oh, well, maybe a couple of strange oranges. And it's, it was just, there was nothing I could relate to. He's not here. He's not here. She is a TV series. I don't understand why you have no interest in either being in a Cuban war, having their own record, why is that not interesting? Why? Because, because they're not even know why the 
trousers would be more, much more appealing to you. If someone was telling me, you know, and, and, and then I was a little more, I need a Castro, a Villa Castro, and then why are you looking at my packet? So that's, that's the point. It's just What's like, your point? Like you can have a chat with a fella just like I'm talking to the geek at the bus stop. <laughs> Sometimes well, you can't you can't take part. What what am I meant to say about him being brave? What am I meant to say about him being brave? Well, why don't you just ask him asking questions about him to hear more? When I sort of took it back to I uh, wonder what what me did in that barbecue. He wasn't bothered. I can't love the best! And you're going, oh, it's been a president and uh, foreign people, he's experienced extraordinary he's things. He's been last day to anyone, and you're not interested, you just want to know whether the source of trust is. There, there it is, you see. He's come down, he's looked at you without prejudice and thought, I don't know this guy. The language barrier probably saved you. And he thought it's probably a smart guy to look at my life and my life. He was in someone who fucking asked him. When you're talking to a stranger, mm. aren't you meant to keep it above the waist? Keep it, uh um, Keep it erect. Keep it erect.